Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. Now we all love Excel because of the ease it offers to perform calculation, especially just by referencing a particular row. For example, if I have to subtract a value C5 with C4, I can simply type in this in the uh, formula here and then click on enter to get the desired output. But have you ever wished that you could do something similar in Power BI? Well, your wish has come true. Power BI is going to come up with a similar feature wherein you can simply reference the row and perform calculation. It is not yet released, but however, we still get to use that particular feature and test it out and see how it works. Now, this is going to change the way you write the DAX. It is quite exciting. So let's get started with this tutorial. So let me repeat once again as to what we are trying to achieve over here. For example, in this particular visual, I want to subtract the value of Chennai with the value of Bodhi and get the difference amount over here. Likewise, I want to do for uh, Coimbatore and subtract it with Chennai and get the desired values. The first thing that I'm going to do over here is create a measure to calculate the sales amount because I have sales as a column but not as a measure. So I'm going to quickly create sales. Uh, measure is equals to calculate sum of sales i'm going to close the bracket here and press enter so now i've created a measure for sales so now let's start writing a measure over here so i'm going to call this as previous row value is equals to i'm going to use the calculate function over here so calculate what is it that i'm calculating i'm calculating the sales amount so calculate sales this is the measure that we just created and type in offset so as you can see over here the function is grayed out it is not yet released hence it is appearing this way and also there is no intelligence function which is available for this particular function but however we will still be able to use this function so i'm going to say offset open the bracket and now over here uh, the arguments are that we now have to reference the column which we want to uh, refer to for example if we want to refer to the previous row i will have to enter it as minus one if i want to refer to two rows before for example uh, if you are over here and you want to refer to this row over here which is kanyakumari you need to enter minus two over here However, let's say if you're here at Krishnagiri referencing this row and you want to go to the next row, you will have to en enter plus one value over here to reference to the next row, right? So in this case, we are referring one to the previous row. So I'm going to enter this as minus one comma, and then I'm going to say all selected, all selected. So the selected, the, um, column that I have in my table over here is the city column. So I'm going to enter type in city over here, select the city column. I'm going to close the bracket over here, followed by a comma. And then I'm going to go here to the next line. And over here, I'm going to order by my uh, data set or the columns that I have in this particular table. So I'm going to use the order by function. The order by function is also a new function over here. I'm going to open the bracket and type in the column name that we have in our table over here comma and how do I need to order I want this to be ordered in an ascending way you can also have this in descending here descending over here but right now I have this data set in the table in the ascending format so I'm going to have this in ascending format I'm going to close the bracket once which close the order by function over here close it again close it again and then press enter so as you can see now the measure has been created so I'm going to simply drag this particular measure over here and you will see that the first value is blank on the second row for Chennai it is it is getting us the values from the previous row 667177 likewise on the third row it is getting us the values from the previous row which is from Chennai right so this is basically this minus one is what is doing all the magic over here if I change this to plus one see what happens so you will now start seeing the values from the next row on the on the Bodhi city over here you will see start seeing the values of Chennai in the previous row value over here and when we scroll down to the last over here you will not see any values because there is no next value which is available for this particular measure to calculate right so this is now working and now let's say if you want to calculate the uh, difference between these two so I'm going to simply um, copy this I can also refer this in the measure over here but for your better understanding let me just copy this and call this as difference 
is equals to so i'm going to assign a variable over here and call this as previous row is equals to so this is my previous row value and then i'm going to say return our sales this is the measure that we created minus previous row this is the uh, variable that we just created and then i'm going to press enter so the measure has been created let me bring in this particular column over here all right so now you can see that uh, we've now have sum of sales and previous row value and also the difference and you can see that this is now subtracting the value with the previous row and returning the difference amount of that particular um, value over here so but since over here in the first row it has a null value or a blank value when we subtract this value with this it still says uh, the same it still has the same value however there is a way to do, deal with that as well but rest of the values here are perfectly working fine and to deal with this particular row over here what we can simply do is so if not is blank previous row then perform this calculation else don't do anything okay and then i'm going to press enter over here so as you can see over here the difference amount is now not calculated for this particular row and it gets calculated for the rest of the rows so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial you learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials